Hello, Yellow Couch family, and welcome back to another episode where I'm very excited to introduce you to somebody who I personally look up to and admire. We're sitting on the couch with Professor Nema Mori. She is Associate Professor at the University of Dar es Salaam, where she is also the Director of Public Services at the University. That is not all. She also serves in a number of leadership capacities on the boards as the chairperson of Air Tanzania, the chairperson of Brella, which is the business registrations and licensing agency. She is also the vice chair of CRDB Bank, where we serve together. And she is an entrepreneur, mother, wife, and multiple other things. Professor Nema, we're so happy to have you today. Karibu sana. Thank you very much, Miranda. So I'm going to start off by asking how, how are you managing to juggle all these different roles? I mean, I'm sure there are others that I haven't mentioned. How do you successfully balance all of these different roles that you have? Thank you. Um, how do I balance what I do? It's true that I have a lot of things. And uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you very much for this opportunity. You're so welcome. I, uh, was trying to kind of avoid it for some time, but I'm glad and I am very thankful that I got the opportunity to come and share uh, with you my journey. And starting straight with your question of how am I balancing? I think the key thing for me, uh, which has really helped me is uh, planning. Right. I have so many things and I really have to plan so well so that I'm able to um, to go again uh, mm. according to my plan. So I plan and I try to make sure that I follow what I plan. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So if it's family time, I know I have to plan for family time. If it's work, I know I have to uh, plan for that and try to follow what I have planned. And when do you do your planning? Is it kind of, you know, Sunday night you plan for the week or are you talking about more long-term planning? Okay, I have both. So I do both. Uh, first of all, the, the, uh, I do annual planning. Okay. So the 1st of January for me of each year is my planning day. Okay. Apart from all other things that I have to do with the going to church and the other things, I sit down and plan what I'm going to do in the whole year. Right. After that, then I go with monthly and I follow that with weekly and the daily. The daily one I do like the to-do list mm -hmm. with weekly and monthly I write down and I know that I'm going to be somewhere on a certain date on a certain time. Right. So I do that from a year up to a daily to-do list. So I love that. Um, you're planning out the whole year when other people are probably waking up on the first and they've maybe had a little bit too much to eat or drink. Professor Nema is sitting planning out her year and she knows exactly what she's going to achieve. Yeah. We love that. I think that's a good takeaway. Thank you. Let's talk about um, board leadership mm -hmm. specifically. To get to a position where you're serving as a chairperson of a board mm -hmm. of publicly listed companies, but also of government or parastatal entities as well, mm -hmm. what do you think it's taken for you to get to that position? Hmm, there is uh, a lot of support that I also got. So there are many things, uh, if I can maybe mention a few. Absolutely. Uh, one of these things is the determination. Mm -hmm. uh, I have my values that I live with, I work with, and one of that is the determination. So with regards to being on boards, I really enjoyed Mm -hmm. or I wished to be on, on the board since when I was um, in the university. Interesting. So I was like, I will make sure, I will try and do my studies in relation to corporate governance and boards so that I right. can be part of uh, a contributor to that uh, space. Mm -hmm. And because I like teaching, I thought, okay, I would really like to be a professor, mm -hmm. a, an instructor, a lecturer, but how will I be able to connect now what I do with the industry? Right. And I thought that I can only do that by being on the board so that I can bring the experience, the expertise that I get mm -hmm. from research, from teaching also to the industry. But at the same time, also for me to be able to learn from the industry and bring it back to the research and the teaching that I do. So the determination that is one of the things. But I also uh, like to learn from other people. I had right. others uh, who led me, who uh, mentored me, and uh, they thought that I could be somewhere uh, more 
uh, in a higher space, if I can say. Okay. Yeah. So they saw that potential in you that maybe yes. you saw in yourself as well, but you needed that extra push. Yes, I did. Let's peel back the curtain a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know I personally am contacted by a lot of women in particular mm -hmm. asking, how did you manage to join a board? I'm sure you have the same. Mm -hmm. What does it really mean to have that kind of position? I think sometimes there's a misconception. It's like a title or a position of prestige. But when you peel the curtain, there's a lot of work, not yes. just to get there, but once yeah. you're there, what kinds of duties for those that are not sitting on a board who might aspire to do this in future, yeah. what can they expect? And if they're wanting to become a board chair, even mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what are they going to <laughs> experience? It's true. There's a lot of work yeah. um, and there's a lot of learning as well. True. So the first part I would say, uh, first of all, if you are determined, if you uh, think that you can do it, just go for it. Mm -hmm. Only that be ready to learn and be ready to um, to share. So they, uh, before that you might see, you might think it's a title, yes. Uh, it is a title as well yeah. and it's good. It's, uh, uh, you feel good to be part of the, uh, the family of, uh, of board with other people because you meet True. different people from different areas. But uh, there is a lot of work and for you to be able to contribute and to show your value, you have to be ready to read yes. and learn and get information from other areas as well so that you can contribute to uh, the decisions and deliberations that are made uh, on board. So there is a lot of hard work in terms of reading, in terms of uh, participating, uh, there are other places that we are, you have kind of every you have man, uh, monthly meetings you right. have to be ready to <coughs> prepare you need yeah. that uh, time and time management as well there are small things that we really have to keep absolutely them. yeah so that discipline being able to plan once again being prepared yes. and knowing that you're not just filling a seat you have to add value yes um absolutely what about risk I think the other thing that sometimes people overlook is there's a risk of sitting in that mm -hmm. seat because yes. you're responsible. Yeah. Have you ever been in a position on one of your boards where you felt I'm in a very precarious or risky mm -hmm. situation yes, here? Yes, yes. The risk is high as well. You're yeah. very right. And sometimes we forget that, like mm. the way I almost forgot it here. But uh, the, the part of the risk actually is not only when you are on that board, it goes with you in the lifetime. Right. So you may serve on the board for five years or 10 years, but when you leave, maybe something happens and you made that decision in those years where you were on board, then that could come back for, uh, to you. So it's very important to know that when you are there, be uh, have integrity be as faithful as you can make decisions that, that you think you are comfortable with and know that you you are taking that risk so Absolutely. what you need to do is be aware that anything can happen in the future so when you are deliberating in some decisions know that this might pass now but it can come back later how am i prepared when it comes back right. and how ready will i be when it comes back hundred yeah. percent. And I love that you've mentioned integrity. Mm -hmm. You're always thinking of what is best for the organization, not yes. individually, yes. firstly. And as you said, it's a long term view. Yes. What we decide today will affect the organization next year, 10 years, 20 That's years. So true. it's that long term view. Mm -hmm. Maybe the final question I wanted to ask about boards is, um, for example, you mm -hmm. stood as an independent um, director um, at CRDB. Mm -hmm. um, yet again, a very, a very big challenge. And you said earlier, just go for it. Yeah. Where did you find the courage? I also went through a similar process, mm -hmm. so I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And I thought, just go for it. But a lot of other people think it's crazy. <laughs> Where <laughs> did you get your guts from? <laughs> I think you, uh, the courage, uh, you get the courage from within. Uh, that's the first thing. You have to trust yourself that yeah. you can do this. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you have, you hear all these um, inward voices that you cannot do it. So mm -hmm. you really have to push and say, no, if others can, why not me? Yeah. So you, you get that. But also talking to people. I remember like for me, when I said, I, I, I would like to try and become a member of CRDB Bank. And I told, I shared that with my husband and he said, go for it. And that was back in 2011. Wow. 
So and he said, why do you want to be there? And I said, this is uh, one of the largest bank uh, in the country and I want to be associated with them. I am right. their customer, but I want to be part of that family. And then we talked about it because we were somewhere for studies uh, outside Tanzania and we left it there. That was right. 2011. And then when we came back and years passed in 2016, um, he came back home one day with a newspaper and he said, there was a time you said you wanted to be on this board. Here is an advert, apply. And I was like, ah, no, I can't <laughs> do that. <laughs> So he started uh, giving me the car. No, you yeah. said you wanted. Now so apply, go, for it. go yeah. for it. And I was like, yeah. no, no. And we we kind of um, not arguing, but yeah. we just talked a little bit about mm -hmm. it. And I said, okay, now since you have said, let me apply. So yes. that's how it started. But I wanted to share that part that really I had that idea, but I just kind of ignored it mm -hmm. until when my husband came and said, now just try it go for yes. it go for it. and he kept reminding me have you applied have you applied i love so that, that was the the uh, the push the, yeah. uh, uh, that i got from him so yeah. important to have yes. a supportive yeah. partner right yes, that's you know true. no man or woman is an island you no. have a whole support no. system that's tell us true. more about your support system because you're carrying so much and i'm sure you're mm -hmm. supported mm -hmm. yes i have huge support system that i really value and i'm uh, very appreciative of what they do of course my husband but also the kids uh, yeah. i have three kids two wow. boys and and a girl and they they also feel proud that I, mama is doing this and that I and they that. really like to learn from what I do and they tell me because I keep telling them you can be whatever you want, just okay. trust God and work hard and sometimes when I'm so down they also tell me now mama you remember you're telling us <laughs> this, now it's your turn, you have they to give practice. give you advice yeah. now. So yeah. they, they, they are also a very good support system for me, my parents. But I also have people that I live with yes. uh, at home. They are yeah. very helpful. You know, you have to balance. Yes. Sometimes it's, uh, to be very honest, I just get tired of washing dishes yes. and clothes. Yes, yes. So I have all these other uh, people at home who are Absolutely. assisting me and making my life comfortable. And I'm very thankful for them. Amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it takes an army. Um, I love that you've got, you know, your kids also mm -hmm. looking up to you and proud of you yeah. and your husband, of course, very supportive. I wanted to tell you a little story about mm -hmm. the first time, I'm not going to say that I met you, but that I saw you. Okay. Empower team were at Cape Town Fish Market and we had a team, it was like we had an outing and we were all together. Mm -hmm. And then a few people who were students from University of Dar es Salaam, they were like, there's Professor Nema. I think you were a doctor in those yes. days. There's Dr. Nema. And then they all jumped up and they ran over to you. You were having a meeting. Ah. And I was like, who is this woman? They're like, she's the coolest, coolest oh, lecturer yeah. in the university. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, she looks so young. <laughs> um, and that is my first mention or hearing your name. Okay. So I never knew our paths would cross, but I'm glad mm. they have. Oh, yeah. My question here now is, how would you define your leadership? Because that's part of your leadership mm -hmm. legacy, how you connect with people. How would you define your leadership? <laughs> it's a big question. <laughs> yes, it is. And uh, so the definition is also very broad. Mm. But I would say that my leadership is inclusive mm -hmm. and uh, it is accompanied by being um, uh, straight but uh, in a humble way. So you can be strict in areas, but how do you communicate, for example, a tough decision? So my, I would say is leading by example, right. leading by doing, but also leading even when you don't have a title. This okay. is something that I learned that um, you can lead yeah. when you are anywhere, when you are on the 10th, row or you're in 12th row when you don't have any title so it's all the time remember lead wherever you are and what that means include others be together do things together yeah I love that i think a lot of the principles you're describing are like servant leadership yes mm -hmm. um which i'm sure you you've read about and learned about so mm -hmm. i really love your style and your approach to how you lead um what is next for you um, obviously, you, <laughs> and maybe it's not specific, but because you're naturally somebody that I would describe with a growth mindset, mm -hmm. you want to consistently learn and grow. Yeah. Um, what is next? What do you have your sights on? Mm -hmm. I get that question a lot. It's like, um, 
Uh, somebody told me, I feel like you have already reached yeah, somewhere the ceiling. The ceiling. <laughs> so now what, what is next? <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't. Yeah. And my next uh, thing is for me to give back, to mm. give more uh, to the community. Okay. That is something that I've really been uh, looking up to. So not to have all these titles and positions, yes. but to be able to give back what I have and what I have learned. So in terms of mentoring more people, but also in terms of um, assisting others to yeah. get to a place where they want to be. So like one of my uh, 10 year goal is to have 20 people who have a finished PhD under my supervision. Wow. That's a lot. Okay. Okay. It's like two people yes. every, every time. But for me, that's uh, something that I can really measure. But uh, so that is the main thing I would say, just Fantastic. being able to give back. So there you have it, ladies community. and gentlemen, there's yes. a lot more. She's not hit the ceiling, even uh, contrary to popular belief, there are other things that she wishes to do and specifically around impact and giving back. Mm -hmm. We're going to move into our trivia section of the, uh, so I'm just going to give you a couple of quick questions. Okay. School for me was interesting it was interesting mm -hmm. i wish i could ask more about why it was interesting <laughs> i wonder what you were like when you were in school were you the very studious type or <laughs> were you like the school nerd or were you like the kind of cool girl like what were you like in school <laughs> i was a cool girl you were but huh? i was also a bit um naughty okay uh, something many would not believe when they, they do. Uh, <laughs> when they see me yeah. I'm like is that yeah. you oh okay. <laughs> yes Okay, I'm yeah. sure it's still in there somewhere. It never <laughs> it goes. It is, yeah. Okay, my second question. Mm -hmm. If you could just throw everything away, your current life, throw mm -hmm. caution to the wind and do something else, mm -hmm. what would it be? A baker. Okay, yes. what would you be making? Cake? Bread. Bread? Yes. Are I... you a good baker now? Yes, I am, but not to the expectations that I would wish. Yes. Yeah. So I really like uh, different uh, types of breads with nuts with all these kind of uh, seeds okay. so I would have been a very good and popular baker. I'm salivating so <laughs> next time I see you please bring me some bread. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and my final question your kind of personal board of directors if you had to pick three or four people mm -hmm. that are your go-to they give the very best advice and they have your best interest at heart mm -hmm. who are those three or four people <laughs> I am, uh, should I mention the names? Sure, or the if you positions? want to, it might be an honor okay. to them. Okay. If, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. So I have one yeah. uh, uh, who has been my mentor since mm. I was in the university. Okay. And he has really encouraged me a lot. Mm. And his name is uh, Donna Tolomi. Mm -hmm. And I remember there was a place he suggested for me to be on board when I was uh, just uh, young, younger than the way I am now. So that yes. is the first person. Yes. The second is also my uh, professor okay. at the university, Marcelina Chijorige. Okay. Yeah, she, I learned a lot from her since I was mm. a student. Yes. And now I have a third one. Yes. And if I can mention it, that is Miranda. Oh that my I gosh. recently <laughs> met. And it's very true. Uh, she has, you have, mm. because we are talking now, you have been really um, <coughs> a great support to me. Uh, sometimes you feel like you have, uh, you have enough, but you forget that you always need to learn. So I have uh, been privileged to getting to wow. know you. It's Thank only you. <laughs> few years now we've been yes. together, but I have learned a lot and I have also seen the impact you and Empower is doing to the university as, wow. well, as well. Yeah. Thank you, Professor. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I was waiting for other names. I'm at, the interview is now speechless. <laughs> Thank you. It's it's Thank really you. a pleasure. I think we've just we've got a similar similar mindset and mm -hmm. similar uh, vibe or energy. So I also really appreciate working Thank with you. you. Um, viewers, I'm gonna ask Professor Nema to just drop her final pearl of wisdom. What is something that you think would be really important for our young viewers, young professionals, mm -hmm. women? everyone to know that you think would be really important for their growth and development. Mm -hmm. You can talk straight to okay, them. Okay, so thank <laughs> you very much. I really would like to um, share the fact that you can be whoever you want to be. 
you only need to be determined and decisive but also learn from other people there are many uh, others may, uh, uh, majority of us who can assist one another to get somewhere where we uh, can be and the other one is um, have confidence in yourself and maybe I will be really focusing on young men and women uh, be confident know that you were brought to this world because you have a special thing you can share so don't worry about that just be confident and go for it I hope we're hearing that the energy right you have something to share with the world yeah. thank you so much Professor Nemamori Viewers, if you feel that there is content that you have learned today from Professor that you want to share with your brothers, your sisters, your schoolmates, whoever it may be, please click subscribe, share this video, uh, and let's get as many people as possible to get to know our wonderful Professor Nema Mori. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's Thank been an absolute pleasure. Much. Thank you, Miranda, and thank you very much.